So Nintendo has officially given us an exact placement in the Legend of Zelda timeline for Echoes of Wisdom. We're going to check that out here in this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe for more. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Now, as you guys see, I am on the official website for the Legend of Zelda. So Nintendo.com slash JP slash character slash Zelda slash EN slash history is basically where I'm at. The EN is obviously for English. Um, as you can see at the top of the screen, it says that this content is an English translation of information intended for the Japanese market. So yeah, this is originally in Japanese, but it's been translated to English. If you go to the history tab, you can kind of see it at the top right corner here. It's, uh, it's very hard to see because there's the colors that they chose to use. Uh, we can scroll down and we have a whole timeline, right? This is the official timeline. We have this, we have Skyward Sword. We can click on, you know, each and every game. We have Minish Cap. We have Four Swords. We have Ocarina of Time. Once we get to Ocarina of Time, we have the split, right? As you may or may not know, we have the Heroes Defeated and the Heroes Triumph. Uh, and then we have Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom that are just kind of separated on their own at the bottom. Um, now, what's interesting is if you click the Heroes Triumph, there's a child era and the adult era, right? We, everybody knows that. We go to child era, we get Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Four Swords Adventures. Uh, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess being some of the best games ever made in history of gaming. Uh, adult era, it actually goes to Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, Breath of the Wild, uh, and, and Tears of the Kingdom, like I said, are down there. But what's interesting is if you click the hero was defeated, we got, the, we got a link to the past. So if the hero was defeated in Ocarina of Time, that is, it goes to a link to the past, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, a link between worlds, Triforce heroes, and then, oh, what's this? Echoes of Wisdom right there. So there we have it. We have Echoes of Wisdom that fits into the timeline right here. If the hero was defeated, what happens? Well, if the hero was defeated, um, as you guys can see, let's go back up here. Uh, it goes to a link to the past, right? We go to Link's Awakening, Oracle games, right? Uh, a Link Between Worlds, a great game, which again is set in the same world as A Link to the Past. Uh, and we have Triforce Heroes, which again is a great game that just, just had bad servers. I wish they would bring this back with better servers. And then we have Echoes of Wisdom. Now, it actually makes sense because everybody's been saying Echoes of Wisdom kind of looks like similar to the world of Link to the Past, which makes sense because it's in that exact same timeline, but a little bit further, right? So things have changed in Hyrule, right? Uh, some things have happened. And it also makes sense that it's in the same timeline as uh, Link's Awakening. Right, because for the Link's Awakening, uh, you know, remake, anyways, we have the same art style, right? This link over here, the exact same art style. So it's just really interesting that they've actually given us an official timeline. And then we have the decline of Hyrule Kingdom. So even though we're technically successful in Echoes of Wisdom, may or may not be successful, I don't know. Um, then you know, there's a decline that that occurs, right? We we have this declining of the Hyrule Kingdom, which leads into the original Legend of Zelda, and then the uh, Adventure of Link, which is Zelda 2. And then after that, it's just nothing. Again, it's just like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom for some reason sit over here alone. I'm not sure how they plan to kind of make, like, I, I don't know what they're planning to do with this. So I'm, I'm still waiting for that, where we all are. But at least we got a timeline slot for Echoes of Wisdom. I thought I'd share that with you guys here in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments, comments below. Are you surprised? I think a lot of us were probably not surprised that it's in this timeline. Just because, again, it seems so similar to A Link to the Past and, and Link's Awakening and A Link Between Worlds and, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting to say the very least that it slots in right here. But uh, let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys soon another one. Tell them friends. Game on. Thanks for watching.